So England bow out of the 2014 uh, World Cup. So it's, uh, I think, worth uh, saying a few words on England for Brazil uh, on this occasion. Um, I, it's obviously hugely um, disappointing for England to go out of the knockout stages, particularly not having won uh, a single match. Um, but I think we've got to remind ourselves once again that um, expectations were pretty low going into the tournament. Um, you know, we've got a nucleus of young players that are promising for the future and, and one or two players that are, you know, let's describe them as very experienced, um, with not too many players at their prime um, and also not too many world-class players at the prime, which is um, vitally significant. So I think what we should do now really is look to the future and see whether uh, we can have some sort of crumb of comfort from from the optimism of that and I think um, personally I think we can I don't share everyone's doom and gloom and think we've got to rip everything up and and start again I think um, a lot of the performances from the young players and uh, certainly when they were given the chance in the last game proved that um, they've got what it takes I think to play international football kept the ball very well passed it around created opportunities uh, particularly in the last game against Costa Rica where you know on another day Daniel Sturridge could have scored three or four um, certainly one or two, but um, it didn't quite happen for him on the day. But um, you know, I wouldn't be too critical of him either. His performance. He, he, I like strikers that keep getting in there, despite the fact they miss one or two. They go again. They're not scared to miss, and I think that's important. As long as he keeps doing that, then he will score a lot of goals for England because he's a very talented uh, young striker. A lot of creativity in there. I thought Jack Wilshere offered um, quite a lot. Keeps the ball, threads little balls through. Uh, Lalana's got. He's very graceful. Two good feet. Um, Barkley's certainly got um, international qualities and um, he's only going to get better. Uh, Sterling came on and um, I think he's got a real chance and overall I think we've got you know, a lot of players in the nucleus, particularly in midfield areas, you know, players we haven't even seen like Oxlade Chamberlain um, because of injuries. So we need to find out you know, a strong defence, an, an emerging defence and um, you know, the performances of Jones and, and Smalling were actually encouraging this particular game, although Costa Rica didn't offer too much going forward. And we've got Stones coming through at Everton, who I think is going to be a top-class um, defender. Uh, so all in all, I'm not wholly discouraged. Disappointed for the moment, you know, all a bit sad, obviously, when England get knocked out so early in a tournament. But um, looking ahead, I think there are reasons to be cheerful. 1988 uh, played in an England team that lost all three games at the European Championships. Um, you know, everyone was doom and gloom. Then two years later, we were a penalty kick away from the World Cup final. So things can turn pretty quickly. And with this uh, young band. Um, I think they might just do that. Uh, should probably also mention um, the big news story uh, that's happened that we've seen today, and that's uh, of course uh, Luis Suarez biting uh, once again, or seems to biting. You know, it's pretty 99% sure that he did. I, I think there seems to be teeth marks on Chiellini's shoulder. Um, it's just hard to comprehend how a man that's um, you know been convicted, if you like, not convicted as such, but he's been, it's happened to him on a couple of occasions before, uh, could do something um, like that once again, uh, completely beggar's belief, uh, completely mad, um, just, just crazy, just crazy. I can't understand why a player that's so talented, so good, could do something so stupid. He's obviously got an unbelievably short fuse and can't control himself, and when he does lose it, that's, that's what he, he wants to do, he wants to bite someone. and. Uh, I suppose it's, uh, it's, it's difficult to um, comprehend, really, but um, it'll be interesting to see what they do with him, whether he gets punished, whether he's banned for three games, um, whether they let him off, who knows? Um, it's, but um, the, the one thing you, you think, if you were like Real Madrid and Barcelona and they were supposedly going to buy him at the end of this uh, World Cup, um, I think that might put them off a little bit. And uh, who knows, in the end, it might, you know, it might be a good thing for Liverpool. They might get to keep their star player. Uh, we'll see. Uh, anything could happen with this story. Thank <laughs> you.